Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to part two of the danger of the ooze teenage mutant ninja turtles Hope you guys are having a wonderful day or evening wherever you find yourself I find myself playing this wonderful game that in my opinion is an underrated gem You just don't hear many people talk about this game, you know, and I'm very happy that I picked it up and played it because It's been a pleasant surprise and a good way to end the year for me with another underrated gem you know, I think that's one of the purposes of my channel is to... Wait, should I go up? Yeah, let's go up for now. See what else we can find up here. One of the purposes of my channel is to actually show like games that I think are generally poor received. And I want to kind of justify them and show why they're not as bad as people make them out to be. Okay, that's actually where we came from. So we don't want to go back that way. Um, one thing I want to note, guys. Um, I did go back. And um, it's right before you fight uh, Flaxseed Stockman or Baxter Stockman. <laughs> right before you fight him, um, you have another upgrade, which is part of your. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See, see this like uh, this shell, like a like a phone. This uh, phone that looks like a shell. Well, one of the things you have is this upgrade, and Casey Jones actually will help you upgrade uh, some of your moves, some of your special attacks. So I've already unlocked two of them for Mikey and Raph. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one for Donnie. I love but it's right before you fight Flaxseed Stockman. <laughs> right before you fight him, uh, you know, you, you pick up that upgrade. So just FYI. There you are. Been down here for hours trying to find you guys. Slash, how's it going, man? Still got that cool loner thing going on? Calm down. I know what's going on. More than you do at any rate. Shredders cut a deal with Neutralizer to create some secret weapon. Secret weapon, huh? Are they going to turn all the pizza into a healthy alternative? No! Whatever it is, it's bad news. Neutralizer's tech is way out of your league. If you guys play nice, you're toast. Your normal moves ain't going to cut it. Time to cut loose. Do whatever it takes. Beautiful. Perform a devastating attack by pressing L1. Requires Chi. So yeah, you need to have that. I was tracking Neutralizer, but lost his trail. You guys need to find that mutagen before Shredder can hand it over. If it's not already too late. Good seeing you, Slash. Even though it was kind of a downer. We'll meet again. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, so now we have uh, special attacks that we can do thanks to our boy Slash. Now, should we come over here? Yeah, might as well. So yeah, I'm just kind of exploring here. We just beat, uh, we just defeated Flaxseed Stockman. <laughs> okay, I don't get tired of saying that. Flaxseed Stockman, that, that's so funny. Um, I gotta give it up to Mikey, comedian here. In case you guys are wondering, his real name is Baxter Stockman, not Flaxseed Stockman. That's just so funny. And only a nerd like me would know that, you know? But uh, unless there's other view nerds like myself that love the turtles. Yeah, I mean, turtles just mean so much to me as a franchise. It's always been one of my favorites. You know, it's, it's a good question. Like, what do, do I like them more than like superheroes like Spider-Man or Superman, Batman? I don't know. That's a tough question because I do love turtles. You know, I definitely love them a lot. So it's possible. I think it's definitely possible for me to love them that much. Because you look, I, when you look at superheroes in general, like one of the things that really makes or breaks them is how good are their enemies? Like how good are their, you know, a cast of enemies and what are they fighting for? You know, how likable are the characters? And I think when you look at the roster of enemies that the turtles have, they roll pretty deep. It's pretty deep. You know, they have a lot of enemies, a lot of good enemies. And I think that that's key in making a good franchise of superheroes. Like Yoni is your enemy. I, I, I kind of believe that. I believed that for a while. And I'm holding truth to uh, true to that. I still believe that. I think that in a lot of ways, you're only as good as the enemies you fight. You know, like awesome. the obstacles, the challenges that are ahead of you. And I think um, that's one of the things that makes it so hard to write for Superman is that he's so overpowered that like, what's the point? You know, he's so overpowered. Oh, I think I just connected. I'm able to go back. No, no, no. This is another one of those jail prisons. If one of my turtles gets caught, they're gonna end up right there. But I think that's one of the hard things to do with uh, any superhero is give them a good cast of enemies. Batman, of course, comes to mind as one of the, the you know, he has one of the deepest rosters of enemies of, of anyone, really. You know, and I, I would I would throw Flaxseed Stockman right up there, you know? Flaxseed, of course.
course, he's, he's a great fan. <laughs> oh, I'm just having too much fun with that. Um, it's just like sometimes I'll laugh at silly little things in my like my day, you know. I, little things will make me just bust up laughing, like little silly things like that, like black seed stockmen or. Man, I'm finding a lot of new areas here in this map. This is really cool. It's always fun to just kind of explore and see what's you know different areas because you're gonna find you know like upgrades and stuff like that. So I, I'm just kind of exploring right now. I thought we beat Flaxy Stockman. <laughs> okay, I promise that's gonna be the last reference to him. Yeah, it's so funny. But yeah, this game, like that's one thing I will know, and I think I know. I, I mentioned that on the first part of my walkthrough is that you know I think between um, between this. Uh, version of Turtles com in comparison to like the 2003 series this game is a little bit more they have more humor in, in general there's more humor versus the 2003 series in my opinion is a little more serious oh nice let's go ahead and save it here nice okay that's what we have to go to next we have to go to the right but I feel like there's some stuff in the bottom that I missed in the sewer yes yeah see, I can almost connect the bottom of the sewer let's go ahead and see if we can do that before we proceed but as of now with the upgrades that we have we're just getting deeper and deeper in the game we got the double jump we got of course we got the you know the ninja stars good upgrades i mean that, that double jump makes a world of a difference and i love the way this game has incorporated it as making the game more enjoyable more fun and just being able to unlock different stages you know by the use of your upgrades i think this game did that very well oh look we got some more upgrades speaking of upgrades now we're going to be able to carry even more Ninja Stars, which is great. Um, okay. Just going through here. But yeah, what are what are some of the silly things that you laugh at? Like, you know, uh, like for example, I'll be driving in my car and I'll think about something silly like that. Like, <laughs> I promise this will be the last time. Like, Black Seed Stockman. Something like that, you know, I'll think about silly things like that and it'll just make me laugh. What are some of the silly things that make you guys laugh? Like, I just want to know about that in the comment section holla at me i am having a lot of fun and i think in this playthrough i've noticed that i played a lot as uh <laughs> i was gonna say but i helped myself i played a lot as michelangelo and okay look this is one way to get past these guys oh jeez, you go you go behind them boom and then finish them off because sometimes they start blocking and it's like difficult to penetrate through their defense Similar to Out of the Shadows, not too different. So now we can carry, oh, it looks like we can carry 20 uh, Ninja Stars. That was a big upgrade, so it's a good thing that I've been, uh, okay, I can't go through there yet, because we can't go through those yellow orbs or yellow, um, you know, sealed uh, sewers, I guess. I don't even know what to call them. Portals, I don't know what to, I don't know what to call them. Sealed energy barriers, whatever you want to call them. Oh, it's more health. We're at full health. You know, I, I am going to spread the love. Who should I play as? Who have I not played as? I'm going to play a little bit more as Raph. I'll show him some love. But yeah, this game's amazing, guys. I think for me personally, um, I will say that this is an underrated gem. I'll go that far. Uh, definitely, like, for me personally, because it just does so many things right. If you like Metroidvania, so by that I mean like old school games, like Nintendo, this game is right up your alley. It does have a very old school feel about it. I'm gonna go down because I think there's some stuff that I missed. Uh, I'm just trying to unlock as much as I can given the um, upgrades that I have. We're gonna go ahead and, oh, we can't go back. Oh, can't, no, no, we can, that's blue. That's a blue orb, okay. We can go through there. All right, so yeah, right now I am somewhat backtracking, but for the purpose of trying to get as many upgrades as I can get beautiful yeah one thing I want to know is that in other games that I played for turtles the ninja stars okay maybe the exception would be like turtles for the NES because ninja stars are actually pretty strong but a lot of the like for example out of the shadows they're not it's more of a stunning uh you know weapon more than anything but in this game they're actually very useful especially against those uh circular robots that that fly that I just destroyed right now I think I got an upgrade guys oh no we're back home yeah, there's more stuff that is unexplored. I can't go back now. Unfortunately, I can't go back. Okay. Nope, they won't let me. I can't go through that little hole. But hey, we, we made a lot of connections here. And we can always go back uh, later on. 
but yeah, just trying to um see that bottom, yeah, that bottom left. Jeez, okay, so there's there's some stuff that we have to go back to unlock. We haven't uh, unveiled everything in the map yet, but it's okay. We're gonna go to the main campaign now. But that was a lot of fun, just trying to explore and get as many upgrades, like I said, as possible. Yeah, Raph does feel strong. I will say that. He does feel strong, like, it takes fewer hits to destroy enemies. I don't think that's in my head. I think that's, like, legit. I've also been working on the audio and, like, you know, the game. You know, it's always been a challenge for me when I do these walkthrough videos, trying to find a good balance. But I think this will be somewhere in that sweet spot. I'm getting better and better. And you and you think, you know, I've been doing this for a little bit now. Going back to my Out of the Shadows videos, walkthrough videos. You think I would have it mastered by now, but it, it's a fine art, man. Like, doing walkthrough videos or just commentary in general, is it's a fine art, you know. And I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still growing. But uh, hopefully this sounds a lot better in quality. Let's get out of the sewers and we're going to go to the next objective storyline-wise. That was fun. It's always fun uh, traversing through the sewers and just getting upgrades, you know, or finding more, you know, where you can carry more like smoke bombs or, or uh, ninja stars. Okay, so we, where do we have to go? Let's check out the map real quick. Oh, look at all that that we haven't discovered yet. We have to go all the way over there. All that. Okay, pr pretty good. Pretty good. Let's just do it. Check out that soundtrack. So yeah, n now that I've kind of adjusted some of the audio settings, you guys should be able to hear the game more, which is what I wanted because, like I said, this game has a really good soundtrack. It's easy to forget how good Out of the Shadows is when it comes to soundtrack as well. They're both spectacular. Look at that. There's my special right there. I just did it. You know those little green things? I think that, see how it's saving? It's that little, I don't know what they are. Like a mirror, you know, that's what they look like from the mirror from Shenmue 2. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, I can't go this way. That's what it reminds me of. Those are the ones, that's your chi, which allows you to do special attacks. Like, it reminds me of Shenmue, the mirror from Shenmue. If you guys have ever played Shenmue, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it just it feels like it takes less shots with Raffi. He's a powerhouse, man. He's really strong. Uh, let's see, can we go this way? I think we don't. We can't. Jeez Louise Omiglio, come on, get it together, bud. Let's try that one more time. All right. Yeah, this game has such a good. The soundtrack is more mellow, more like beat, you know, like very, very. Uh, I want to call it beat, but it has a good rhythm, good beat, and very hip. There you go, hip, very hip, and uh, uplifting, and uh, it relaxes me. Like there's certain games that I played to kind of relax. I would actually say, I would put this in that category as a game that kind of helps me relax. Um, let me see. Let's go right. Yeah, definitely. We're going the right way now. We want to get to the right. Oh, well, let's just save it. I think there's only one way. We have to continue to climb up and then we'll go to the right. That's the only way to get to the right-hand side of the of this building. Is there any other way, actually? I'm trying to think. No, I think that's from what we've got so far. That's what we have to work with. We do have to go around going left, up, and then to the right. Beautiful. Yeah, Raffi feels pretty OP. I'm not going to lie. So that's really cool that I have more. Yeah, I can carry uh, 20 Ninja Stars now, which is huge. That is huge news for me. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Like I said, this to me, this game is an underrated gem. I would put this right up there with Out of the Shadows. The funny thing about this game is that it didn't come out too much after Out of the Shadows. This game came out only like a year after Out of the Shadows, which is by far an underrated gem. And I've already covered that in my channel. If you guys uh, are interested in that, check it out. Um, I did two versions of that. The first version is when I first started YouTubing. And one of the things that I learned as a young YouTuber, I mean, I've had my channel for a while, but I was never really serious about YouTubing. Um, one of the things that I learned is that getting the audio, and I mean, I'm still learning now. Like I said, I'm still learning now, but you know, there's a balance between the game and just my voice. The mic was horrible. Um, so um, my first walkthrough of Out of the Shadows, the, the mic was really, really bad. I think we have to go this way. Yeah, we have to go this way. Okay, we're going the right way. Um, so I did an enhanced edition. And that one, the, uh, the everything sounds better. I'm still not completely happy with it, but it's definitely enhanced compared to the original stuff that I had to work with, you know. 
I've definitely evolved as a YouTuber. Uh, at least I'm, a, I'm evolving still as we speak. I'm trying to get better and perfect my craft. There we go. Beautiful. Got the pizzas. Beautiful. Uh, man, Raffi's a lot of fun to play with, but I'm going to switch over to Donnie. Show Donnie some love. I think that's the one thing that really stands out about this game that I love is that it does hearken the NES game for the Nintendo. The original Nintendo game, it does hearken that. And that is a good thing because that's one of my favorite Nintendo games, believe it or not. It's on my <laughs> another video that you can watch. I'm like promoting myself right now. <laughs> it's uh, Omi's favorite uh, NES games. You can watch that and I talk about how it's one of my favorites. Now, we should go this way. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. Oh yeah, we are. We're definitely going the right way. I know, I know exactly where we are. We can actually go down from here, I think. I think so. I think we can actually go down. Oh, not wrong way. Try that again. Let's go from here. Oh, pizza. I missed some pizza. Boom. But yeah, that, that Nintendo game is one of my favorites. It's a very difficult game. A lot of people consider it uh, one of the hardest games on the NES. For me, like I was able to beat it like at 11 years old. Believe it or not, um, one of my good friends who I haven't spoken to in a long time, he was my witness, so he would tell you that that's true. Because a lot of people are like, that game's impossible. It's not impossible. Like anything, if you put time into it and you're patient and you do your best to learn the mechanics, the, the physics, the gameplay, understand it well, yeah, you'll, you'll be able to beat it. But you got to be very patient and at least the old school games, and this game does have that old school, old school vibe about it when it comes to the gameplay. You know, it requires a lot of skill, I would say. A different kind of skill than today's modern games. It's just, you know, like 2D platforming skills. I guess in modern terms, you have skills, but they're different, right? They're like Call of Duty skills, like shoot them up, shoot them. They're just different. Beautiful, got that guy. So I just did a little shortcut right there, that's all I did. Uh, nice. Look at that beautiful song. Check out the song just for a second. I'm gonna be quiet just for a second so we can all enjoy it. Did you see that roll? What I did? I rolled out of the way. Okay, now there's something up here that I might be able to get with a double. No, I can't. But check this out. Boom! You gotta love that. Now we carry more ninja stars. 25 to be precise. That is a beautiful thing. Oh wait, did I miss some stuff? Yeah, let's go ahead and... I might have missed some stuff up here. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, I, I haven't been here yet, I don't think. Oh, wait, yeah, I've, I've been here before. Did he drop anything? Nope. But yeah, purple dragons. I'm gonna take a little sacrifice. There, I, 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 I took that just to grab those uh, eggs. They look like eggs to me. I think it's a smoke bomb. They, they look just like eggs to me. This is what we had our first. I said on the last video, um, Flaxseed Stockman. Okay, I promise I'll stop. Flaxseed Stockman was our first boss fight, but actually, that werewolf was our first boss fight. And uh, as long as you're, you switch turtles, at least I had to, um, you should be fine. It's going to take at least two turtles, though, to beat him. Because you're so underpowered in the beginning of the game. Beautiful. Okay, we're definitely making progress. Haven't been here yet. Okay, now we've been here. All right. Nice. Good job. Good job, Donnie. Jo Donnie coming through. Uh, let's see. We can go left or we can go right. Let's just check out what's over here first. That takes care of that. Yeah, so I think I mentioned this earlier, but uh, one thing this game has going for it, which I love, is that the Ninja Stars, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, that might sound like a broken record now, but it's worth emphasizing how in this game, Ninja Stars are very helpful. As opposed to other games that I play, like Out of the Shadows, it's more of a stunning. Okay, that's where we have to go. <clears throat> I do, I noticed that there's part of the map that I haven't unlocked yet, so I'm going to go back real quick. There we go. I'm trying to get as much of the map as I can because, of course, upgrades, 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 right? Come on. There we go. Oh, he didn't give me anything. Yeah, this game is pretty generous when it comes to, like, giving you items, spawning items. 
This game is pretty generous about that. I will say that. Yeah, I love these beautiful backgrounds. I just love the graphics. I love the style. I think that it suits the uh, animated series, the new animated series. At least that's, I think that's what it, that was. That's what it's. That's what it was called. Uh, if you stand here, he's actually gonna cook you some food. But similar to, you know, being good at a video game, you have to be patient. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's get these two guys. Got him. Oh, I just connected these two. Perfect. I just connected it. Now there's some more. There's actually another sewer. This is like the middle one. If you look at the map, there's like three middle parts to the sewer. Is it? Am I right? Where am I? Oh, no, no. Did I just go back? I'm not sure. I, I'm definitely a different part of the map. Let's just go in there and see exactly where the heck I am. I think we just unlocked a new part of the map. Isn't it? I mean, I could be wrong. But for sure, we just connected uh, two parts of the game. No, I think we have been here. We surely have been here. Haven't we? Oh, was there earlier? I wanted to go down. I mean, I could do that now. I'm going to hold off on that because I do want to go to the main campaign. Um, but yeah, there's some stuff I'm going to come back to. Make it more natural. Right now, I'd be kind of forcing it to go. But that's the cool thing about this game is that it's pretty open. That's pretty much what the, um, the platformers like Metroid or, you know, Castlevania... Or Symphony of the Night comes to mind. That was like a Metroidvania kind of game. Oh, gosh, I got hit. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I thought he was gone. Got some more pizza. I took some damage right there. One of the things I would love to do right now is upgrade my health. Because my health is a little bit low. Um, okay, got some more of those. Uh, we're just, we're, yeah, we're just connecting all the map together. See, right above me, I haven't been there yet. Oh. There it is. We've been officially pretty much everywhere in this map. Oh, uh, there's like a little spot that I'm missing. Which is up here. Let's go ahead and go over there real quick. There it is. We've been here officially pretty much everywhere. I think I'm going to go back down though. Because I do want to go to the right. Which is where we have to go for the main story. Hope you guys are enjoying this walkthrough. This game is... Like I said, I can't say it enough. A wonderful, wonderful game. If you like, you know, Met Metroidvania, if you like old school mixed with modern, this game's going to be for you. And for me, of course, I, f I grew up playing the Nintendo game, so th I feel right at home with this. But if, you know, if you're younger, you might not really be into platforming like this. It just depends, right? You might, you might not be into it. Uh, let's go down and to the right. Sometimes I'll throw him a ninja star. Now that I have more that I can carry more, I won't be so concerned about wasting them as much. Because, you know, like I said, uh, whether it's health or ninja stars, a lot of it, they're very generous on spawning items. There, finally. There we go. Because before, we couldn't go through here because we got that smoke bomb inside of uh, the TCRI building. So yeah, this game has a brilliant design. Just very well designed, in my opinion. You know, like a good way to like feel progression in the game like I, I like games that it's kind of funny because i'm not the biggest fan of backtracking games like uh, uh something like that would be like resident evil like the original ones where you have to backtrack a lot i'm not the biggest fan of that but this game has plenty of that and i don't mind because it's just a lot of fun i think the combat i think the combat's good not, not that resident evil the original ones aren't good i'm just not the biggest fan i i appreciate it i certainly appreciate it but sometimes it just feels like a little bit um, redundant. You know, like you've already been there before. And you want to go somewhere new. And I think that is in essence what I what I like to feel regarding to... A, okay, that, there's my special attack. I just did it right now. I like to feel like I'm always making progress. Like I tend to prefer that kind of a design in a video game as opposed to a lot of backtracking. That's just me. I don't know. That's just me. But games that come to mind that it doesn't feel like you're backtracking too much, at least from what I played, are more modern games. Something like um, the Final, Fan Final Fantasy VII Remake, it definitely has that feel where it doesn't feel like you're backtracking too much. And I tend to like that over having to go back and remembering that there's an item you had to pick up, you know? Like, I'm not, I don't hate it, but I tend to prefer a game that makes you feel like you're always going forward, if you know what I mean. Like, you're always making progress, like there's some kind of purpose um, like something fresh, something new, a new level. 
I tend to prefer that design. Although, again, I'm not I'm not completely opposed to like a certain level of backtracking because I've certainly played games that require backtracking. Resident Evil series comes to mind. Code Veronica, definitely a lot of backtracking, and I I didn't mind that game. So I'm not gonna be too hard on it because I don't hate it, but I just prefer a game that makes you feel like you're constantly going forward. Even like something like Shenmue, believe it or not, Shenmue, once you finish an objective, uh, it's like you unlock the game and, and for sure it feels like, there's my special, look at that! Oh, you gotta love that! This? See, this game has good gameplay. It has really good gameplay. I'm telling you, I had never even done that. I just, in my head, I thought, hey, why don't I try this? Get between both of them and use my special attack. I'm gonna try it again. And it works! I think that right there is uh, experience points. Yeah, see my experience goes up. It went up by like 15 points. Now I could go up there by using a smoke bomb. Let's see what's up here. I might not be able to make any more progress from what I remember because I think I might need some more upgrades to continue in this path. But either way, we're very close to our next objective in the map, storyline wise. But yeah, even Shenmue, like once you once you've completed an objective, it does feel like you're constantly going forward, and that's one thing I love. Like honestly, Shenmue is one of my favorite games of all time. If you guys never played it, I did uh, previously uh, do a walkthrough video of it. Oh, I can't go in there, can I? No, that's gonna be another upgrade to turn small. See, okay, that's gonna be it for this part because I need another upgrade in, or in order in order to go through those little holes uh, of the game, like vents. They look like vents. Oh, wrong one. Oh, I almost, almost fell into those spikes. But yeah, I generally tend to like games that make you feel like you're constantly going forward as opposed to backtracking. But like I said, I'm not, I don't completely oppose backtracking as long as it's done tactfully and not overly redundant. This game, because it is Metroidvania, I guess it's kind of, you can't avoid it that you are going to backtrack. So this game is definitely an exception. This game is someone that it doesn't bother me too much. But uh, it just depends too how it's designed and how it's related to the gameplay, to the story, you know, to the design of the game itself. Like I said, I'm not completely opposed to it, but I tend to prefer, oh, you know, games that you feel like you're constantly having level progression. There we go. Boom and a boom. There we go. All right. So let's continue to go this way. I think, yeah, all this is pretty much new to me. I haven't been over here. More than likely, I'm going to run into another upgrade, which is why I'm coming here. But I'm getting pretty close, storyline-wise, to the next part of the game. See, I haven't been here yet, so I'm trying to... Oh, nice! Yeah, the, the, the smoke bombs also actually stun them, which is really, really cool. Okay, okay, that's going to be a dead end. We can't go any further than that. Hey, at least we figured it out, right? We're unlo unlocking a lot of the map, and... That's where a big strength of the game is, is just discovering stuff, getting the upgrades. Because they really make a difference. Like now I'm able to carry 25 Ninja Stars. In the beginning of the game, I can only carry like, what, five? Something like that. So I'm able to carry 20 more just by finding upgrades, by exploring, by having this Metroidvania design uh, of the game, you know, which again, I, I like it. I'm a fan of it. Let's go through there, and I think we have to go up now. You know, another question I just thought about right now, and I think it's a good question, is up to now, what's your favorite Turtles game? Oh, shoot. Let's do this. Let's do this. Beautiful. Oh, he switched over, though. All right, at least we got, we got some pizza back. I got to watch out for my special attacks. I only have one left right now. Trying to get those green mirrors. There it is. I got another one. But I did get hit. I, I gotta, I'm gotta. i almost close to dying, so I might want to switch turtle. Okay, I got another one for that chi. It does take chi to do a special attack. Yeah, this soundtrack, man. I say it again, and I'll say it over and over. The game has an unexpectedly good soundtrack. I wouldn't expect this game to have like such a good soundtrack, but it does. Like I said, if I were to describe it, it's more of a chill soundtrack. Something that just makes you want to just game and not be too stressed out, you know? I don't think we've been over here. Oh, we can't go that way. Now this, I think, is another sewer that I don't think we've been to yet. No, we haven't. Let's just go there for now. See what, it, see what we can find, and then we're going to... 
So we are making progress or we're headed towards the next objective, but I'm just like honestly just enjoying the game for what it is. And at its heart, they want you to explore. So we're just taking full advantage of that. And uh, we're going to get to the obje uh, next objective. But what's going to happen though is because I'm lacking certain um, upgrades, we're only going to be able to get so far before we're going to have to proceed with the game, you know, with the next objective. That's just the way this game works. Beautiful, got him down. Okay. There we go. Take care of this guy. And we're gonna try to um discover as much as we can given our, our current upgrades in this part of the game. This uh, sewer stage. Got him. I think there's What's down here? There it is. Beautiful. Take him down. Okay, this guy is, uh, he's acting like Black Seed Stockton. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, we got another one. We got another cheat. Yeah, you definitely, by the time you come here, you have to have that uh, smoke bomb upgrade. Otherwise, you won't be able to get very far. But I don't even think you would be able to get far without the smoke bomb. You wouldn't even be able to come to this side of the game. So yeah, you definitely need the smoke bomb. Just to even get to this part of the, of the game. Beautiful. You know, I think I am low on health. I'm going to switch over to... Let's go to Raph. I'm going to switch over to Leo next. Because I got to show him some love. Of course, you know, he is my favorite turtle. So I'm saving the best for last. Who's your favorite turtle? I'd love to hear it in the comment section. Who your favorite turtle is. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, we're gonna get another upgrade. That's great. Oh, this is a huge one, too. This is one of my favorites. Never take on an angry turtle. This is a huge one right here. I think it's gonna be more... Yep, more health. That was a huge upgrade. Big time. I'm gonna need that. So, it, it's a good idea. You don't have to, but these, like... Metroidvania type games where they want you to explore. It really does pay off to explore because I could have just gone to the next objective storyline wise, but it's very smart that I'm doing this first because see now if I fight another boss, I'll be I'll be able to to, to you know I'll be more strong to fight him. Oh oh come on. There we go. Awesome. Needed this. Beautiful. Oh, I need, I need my smoke bomb. Oh, I went down. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, I can't go that way. Oh, awesome. Let's go this way. Oh, gosh, I'm wasting my... Man, I didn't realize I was so short on Ninja Stars. Like I said, this game does really... Um, they're very useful in this game. More than other turtle games that I played. I guess the only other one that they are very useful would be the original Nintendo one, 1989. Good. Got some more health right there. So yeah, coming down here was a good idea because we actually have more health now, overall health. So that was an upgrade. So even if we don't get to like, I think by the end of this video, part two, we might be able to get at least to the next part of the game. And I'll be happy with that because I think we're already more than 30 minutes into the video. And I don't want to make these videos longer than 50 minutes. I think that's more than enough for this particular walkthrough. There it is. That's my special. Get out of here, guys. Get out of here. Can't hang when it comes to wrath. Okay, we got 11 inch stars. I gotta keep an eye out. Like I said, I'm, I got more, so I'm kind of wasting more. Isn't that, isn't that just the nature that we have? At least a lot of us Americans, that the more we have, the more we want to waste. We're just consumers. <laughs> we want to consume, but that's kind of the way society has built us too. Like you know, you have all these advertisements. They want you to consume. So the more you have, the more they want you to consume. That's just the way, at least American society works. Oh, perfect! I got a lot of ninja stars. I, I, I'm fully equipped. That's pretty much all I can do here. There's nothing else I can do at the moment until I make progress in the storyline and get even more upgrades. So for now, great exploration. Uh, we pretty much covered a lot of ground here uh, on the map. And we're just trying to get to the right side of the map. Let me just show you real quickly what I'm talking about. See, we're trying to get to that part. See that part that's kind of like you know, beaming on, on the right-hand side. That's what we want to get to. So, I 
think, like I said, if we could just get to that part with this video, I'll be pretty happy because it was a, this video was a lot of exploration, a lot of unlocking different parts of the map. Did you guys see the skill right there? Like I knocked, I killed him right when I was going down. Beautiful. Get out of here, guys. Get out. Oh. So that's what I'm saying. That's beautiful about this game is that depending on which turtle you have, they make different commentary depending on what they would actually say, you know, on their personality. Oh, good. Full health right there. Let's go ahead and use this chi. Perfect time for the chi. And we got uh, regeneration. Perfect calling. Perfect time to get it. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Um, Oh, we got level 4 XP. So, yeah, we're hitting No wonder. Yeah. I was going to say, Wrath feels overpowered. I'm going to go... Yeah, let's go ahead and switch over to Leo, my favorite turtle. It's about time to get some playing time. Beautiful. Is anyone hurt? Okay, Donnie's hurt. Yeah, let's go ahead and give him some pizza here. Beautiful. Switch back to Leo. I'm out of here. Okay, let's see. Let's go up here. Oh, watch out. Oh gosh, yeah, those guys are tough. That's why that's why the Ninja Star is so effective in this game, especially against those robots, because they are uh, annoying. They they hit you from weird, awkward angles. Okay, so let's see where are we in the map. Okay, let's just uh, see. We're supposed to go to the right, but it looks like we're blocked and we can't go to the right. We can't go that way. Let's see. Let's go here for now. Nice. Oh, okay. I'll see you later then, pal. Yeah, that's gonna be an upgrade. We can't go there yet. The right to the left, excuse me. Oh, watch out. Got him. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, give me that. There we go. Okay. Let's see here. Let's take care of this guy. Got him. Yeah, see, they get you from weird angles. But like I said, this game is really good as far as replenishing um, your items. Like, spawning items that you need. Okay, we can't go to the left yet. See how there's that... It looks like an like open vent to my left. That little narrow way. We can't go there yet, so... That's gonna be an upgrade. We're gonna get it hopefully soon. Man, Leo is super powerful. Uh, I think we're going the right way. There's nowhere else to go. I mean, we tried the sewer. We've already gotten to the bottom of the sewer. We pretty much uh, needed some of those uh, red orbs, doors, which, that we can't unlock yet. Alright, let's, let's see what's in here. Oh, nice! I'm going to switch over to Donnie. I know I didn't play as Leo that much, but I want to give Donnie some more love. We'll go back to Leo. Oh, okay, so this is unlocking more of the map for us. And it's pretty much emphasizing that that's where we have to go again to the to the to the left to the right excuse me <laughs> to the left to the left to the right okay we have to go to the right that uh shining uh it looks like a scroll i'm not sure what it is or like a tube a test tube boom got him boom and a boom Footbots aren't so tough oh jeez. All right. Oh, give me my ninja star. There we go. Yeah, like I said, they're very important in this game. Look at the scenery in the background. So beautiful. Oh, what is this? Karai. I'm not here to fight. Shredder's creating a weapon to destroy you and the city, and I can't go along with it. Tiger Claw has a super mutagen now, and he's handing it off to an alien from Dimension X. They're supposed to meet up at the docks. What's the quickest way there? If you dash, you'll be able to take a shortcut. It should be just down the street. <clears throat> Press R1 to dash forward at high speed. This can be done in the air as well. Dashing will um, get you into tight spaces and allow you to break through windows. Ooh. That's all I can say for now. I have to get back before they realize I'm gone. Well, thank dash, you, Cry. Huh? Seems simple enough. Simple enough. Oh, look, you could, there you go. We can go through that window. Nice. See, now we can go through those little narrow parts that I was talking about that look like vents because of this dash technique. Now, where the heck am I? Oh. 
yeah, so yet yeah, another upgrade. So this game's crazy because like if you're ever stuck in this game and you wonder why you're not making progress, just basically unlock this main story of the game and, and you'll be able to make progress. Come on, I got an idea. Yeah, see, I stunned them using a smoke bomb. Ah, one of my favorite things. Whenever you get overwhelmed, you know, it's a good technique to use. What's over here? I, okay, I can't go that way. And I think we're all full health because I did save it recently. So I think for now, let's just keep going um, to the right, which we've been having to go for the longest time. Got a little sidetracked, but whoop, in progress. Don't be hating on the progress. I don't think we've been here yet. I don't think we have. I've always, I always like exploring and going to places I haven't been to. No, I haven't been here yet. Until now. Okay. Oh, nice. We got some pizza. Well, I'll take it. Even though I'm full already. Now, we should be able to go through here just like that. Beautiful. Got him. Got him. Finish you off and finish you off, bud. Okay, let's see now. Where do we go from here? Uh, I guess we should go. We can go. Yeah, we have to go down, I think. Oh, that's right. We do have to go down. Because we have to go through another window. You'll see it in a second. Look at that. This guy was about to get me. See ya. Okay, so let's see. Uh, it's got to be here soon. There it is. There it is right there. Beautiful. Oh, oh gosh. There it is, got it. Yeah, we needed that upgrade. It was huge. That's a huge upgrade. We're gonna be able to go through those little vent areas in the game. Okay, Donnie. Stay frosty. Stay frosty, Donnie. Beautiful. I love I love my special attack. I did use two of them. Right behind them and finish them off. Yeah, I love the fact, and I keep saying it, but I love the fact that I have more ninja stars now because this game, like I said. They're very useful, unlike other turtle games where it's not as much. Gotcha! Finished them off. Now there's something up there. Beautiful. Give me some more stars. This is a brand new song. We haven't heard of the song yet. Okay, look, we can't go back because it's a yellow barrier. There you go, barrier. That's the right word I wanted to use. I couldn't think of the word I wanted to use. Now, can I go down? I could go down or I can go right. Let's, let's go down for now. Now that we have... There might be an upgrade down here. I feel like this is not... Yeah, because we have to go to the right. We've been having to go to the right ever since the beginning of the video. So, yeah, I, I'm again, I'm just exploring here, getting some more upgrades. Oh, speaking of upgrades... Remember what I mentioned? This uh, shell. It looks like a cell phone. There's upgrade. There's four that I can get. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Leo's. These are for the shell kickers. And then the ones I like to use the most are the ones going to the, you know, attacking your, um, going towards the enemy, and the one going up. I can't wait to try out my. Oh yeah. Yeah. These these two, upgrades. and then the next one would be the down one. And then my least favorite is when you press back, and. Um, and attack them. It does like a spin attack. I'm not sure what it does. It's not my favorite out of the uh, shell kicker moves. Oh, see, now I got that. I just unlocked it right now. Notice how when I hit up, he has like a new blade on his uh, bow. Yeah, I like right there. Watch. You'll see it right now when I do a combo. Right there, you see it? He has like a blade. I don't know. I don't know what you call that. A dao? I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, wow. Okay. Awesome. Got some XP right there. We're level plus one. I'm not sure. Okay, why don't we just go down here? Yeah, again, I can't emphasize enough how important these... Oh, jeez. Got him. Use this. Man, I love Donnie. See, now with the with the upgrade, it, it, his bow does feel like longer, like more range than before. All right, let's go down here. 
the heck was that? Okay, that, again, that's where we have to go, but I'm trying to get as many, as much as I can, just to unlock as many items and stuff like that, because that's really where this game shines. That's one of the strongest, uh, exploration, one of the strongest, okay, we can't, we can't go any further. Oh, look, that reminds me of Shenmue right there, the forklift. I'm thinking of doing another walkthrough of Shenmue, because I did have it on my channel. I did, like, a live walkthrough on, um... Oh, there it is! More upgrades. More, even more Ninja Stars. I think that's gonna bring me up to 30. I can use this. I believe so. I think it goes up by 5 every single time. We should have about 30 Ninja Stars now. Yeah, let's go this way. We're getting close to, uh... The, the next main objective in the game. See, when you hit him from behind... I think it takes a little bit less hits. Oh, jeez. Ford. God, good. Got some pizza right there. Yeah, so I know earlier I got that upgrade where I had more health, and that was that was crucial. Okay, I can't go that way either. Hmm, I'm a little stuck. Okay, no, no. We can go to the right. There we go. Perfect. And I think this is officially where we're supposed to be. This whole, this whole playthrough. We're supposed to come here to the docks. Beautiful. All right. Let's see. Oh, don't want that guy to see me. There we go, and there we go. Oh, watch out. How do you like this? I think all my turtles are full health, by the way. I believe so. Oh, nice. Got him. Oh, watch out. Happy landing. Okay, cool. We can't go through here. And another... What is this? Oh, a save area. Perfect. One thing I should know, too, is I love how every single... Like, whether it's a prison where the, where the turtles can be found captive. Of course, none of mine have died, so I haven't had to go, go there yet. Or it's a save place. Like, all the levels look different, and they have their own unique style. I'm going to go ahead and save it here. And with that said, guys, I think this is going to be the end of part two of my walkthrough. We made it all the way to the docks. I did explore a lot, and I got some more upgrades. That's why it was a slower process uh, to get this far. Just to get to Karai was a slower process, but we did do a lot of exploration. With that being said, guys, I want to thank you for all your comments, likes, and subs. If you guys enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit that sub button and share it with friends and family. As always, guys, I will catch you absolutely on the next vid.